Holy mackerel. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Holy Mackerel Moments number five. Five golden episodes. Happy holidays. There's so many holidays this time of year. We just had Thanksgiving, now Hanukkah, Christmas, Solstice, Kwanzaa, Diwali, New Year's. I think this dish puts it best. Happy everything. I wish you all happy everything. Now, holy mackerel moments are those moments of magic in everyday life. Magic is alive. Magic is alive. And today is the magic of holidays and laughter and love and light. Let's start with laughter, please. <laughs> Nancy, ten mm. points. You get Hal Hines to say that word. See if I can get Hal Hines. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Look how calm she is as well. Last week, Twitter, set, Twitter said guidelines were being updated due to confusion. The company says any users who tweets content. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> one scheme promised investors a 50% return on their investment within one year. To me, that would have been a warning sign. Nonetheless, fifth. <laughs> Sorry. Action. Valerie. I, I'm coming. <laughs> I know what action means. So do I, but it's been so long. <laughs> Betty, I can relate. No, I want to tell you about a holy mackerel Christmas moment I had. My friend loved Taboo. It's a game with cards and a buzzer and timers and, and quick thinking, adrenaline, suspense, and lots of laughter. And we played it every Christmas Eve at her home for many, many, many years. It was tradition. Tradition! And then one year, tradition was broken. She said, hi, I moved. I, I lost the Taboo game in the move. We're not having Taboo this year. And her son said, that's okay, I brought movies. We'll watch a movie instead. And he had rented several Christmas DVDs. We didn't know any of the movies, but we chose one and put it in and started watching. And it was very good. But I could tell my friend was sad because it really was the first Christmas in decades with no Taboo. And then this scene came on. Could you be a lamb and explain the rules? Oh, of course. Um, so you try to get your teammate to say the word on the top of the card, but you can't say any of the words listed beneath. And if you say any of the taboo words, then you get buzzed. I'm so excited to have you all here to play this game together. It's going to be so much fun. Holy mackerel. You're giving me the sweetest taboo. Oh, speaking of Christmas, Santa Mario in episode three, who rescued that child in the runaway shopping cart, has a new book about Santa's sister called Sandy Claus. It is charming. I'll put the link below. I had a wonderful Hanukkah dinner one year. Now, this hostess didn't lose her taboo game. She, she lost the menorah, so she used oranges instead. It worked fine. And I got to sit next to the grandmother. Whoa. At one point she said, Excuse me, stop talking, everybody. It's my turn. I want to talk. She talked. She turned to me. She said, So you got to fight for your rights. I fight all my life. I fight for rights. I fight for the gays, parents and friends of gays. I fight for blacks marching with Martin Jr. King. You got to fight for your rights. I love this woman. Later on, I was looking at my plate. There was a gorgeous latke on it, and I thought I would love to have some applesauce for this, but I'm too shy to ask for it. At that moment, the grandmother said, Excuse me, pass Harry the applesauce. I said, How did you know that? I was just thinking that. You read my mind. She said, I know. Well, you get to be my age. You got to do something with your time. Holy mackerel. Then I remembered one year I tried to do that. Winnie and Ewald ran Winnie Wald Day Camp. It was a great camp. And one day Winnie sat a bunch of us kids down. She said, we're going to play a guessing game. I'm going to think of a number and I want you to try to guess what number I'm thinking of. 
So we all closed our eyes and I heard a voice clearly say, 28. She said, any guesses? And kids said, 9, 13, 12, 70. I didn't say a word. She said, okay, any more guesses? I didn't talk. She said, okay, I was thinking of number 28. Oh man. Oh man. Then I realized whether I'm a kid too afraid to say 28 or a grown up too afraid to say, may I have some applesauce? I needed to work through my fears and express myself. As the great Marianne Williamson said, I'm paraphrasing, but our playing small does not serve the world. But when we shine our light, it gives others permission to do the same. Let your light shine from within. Shining our light. I had a deaf friend who said, you know, that's not just an expression. It's a real thing. For me, one door shut, another door did open. Because my hearing is restricted, my eyesight is enhanced. And whenever I go to a party, I meet the nicest people there. You know how? I just look around and I simply follow the light. Interesting, holy mackerel. The people with light coming out of them. You are light. You're the energy that makes the sunshine bright. We're all light. I now shine a light on someone whose light twinkled so brightly she became a star. She was a star on Broadway, in movies. Marsha Hunt appeared in some of Hollywood's most beloved classics. Marsha Hunt is an extraordinarily excellent actor. She did comedy. Oh, uh, Mary, try to sparkle a little. Just a little. <laughs> and drama and everything in between. And then it all stopped. She was blacklisted, the 50s red scare. She was falsely accused of being un-American and suddenly her, her career vanished just like that. What did she do? She traveled the world. And when she came back? I came back a planet patriot. I fell in love with the human race. She became an activist, a humanitarian. She saw that there were refugees. She said, what can we do for these people? And she helped these desperate people in dire straits all over the world. Back here in the States, she worked tirelessly for decades to help the homeless and the hungry. She worked for peace. Marsha Hunt mm -hmm. is so pure and good. I love her morality in the, in the film. Yes, well, that, that morality in, in the film is really Marsha. Marsha Hunt, love bug. I love you. They were in love with each other. Oh, I do love you. This is the real thing, Mary. It's love. And when she was 96, she wrote a song about love and marriage equality. Here's to all who love. Here's to all who love. Roger C. Memos made a truly inspiring film about her called Marsha Hunt's Sweet Adversity. I'll put some links below. It is powerful, uplifting. I highly, highly recommend it. To Marsha Hunt. Thank you, audience. Thank you. Marsha's light shines on. And so does Marsha. She's still going strong at age 104. Holy mackerel, Marsha. <laughs> ah, so here we all are, doing life on Earth. It can go by fast. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. As long as we're here, let's shine on. Send your love out to the planet soul Cause all are one, all are one And all living things, they need some light to grow Whoa. And let's celebrate love in all its forms <laughs> so tame as <laughs> you got a friend <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Gee, Ellie. You're the swellest dame in this whole cockeyed world. Happy everything. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>